Turkish riot police have stormed Taksim Square in Istanbul, breaking through barricades set up by protesters who have occupied the area for the last 12 days. Images from earlier this morning show police firing tear gas and water cannon at hundreds of protesters who've been staging demonstrations against plans to redevelop the adjoining Gezi Park. Activists decked out in gas masks responded by throwing stones, fireworks and petrol bombs. Many have fled to Gezi Park where they've been camping. They reportedly chanted, every place is taxim, every place resistance. It appears police have not entered the park. Police removed protesters' banners from a building overlooking the square and hung a single Turkish flag and picture of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of modern Turkey. <laughs> Istanbul Governor Hüseyin Avni Mudlu said the police had no intention of breaking up the protest in Gezi Park. Our aim is to remove signs and pictures. We have no other aim, he wrote on Twitter. <laughs> Turkish media reporting that police are saying to protesters, don't throw stones at us and we won't use water cannon and tear gas. It comes just after the Prime Minister agreed to meet protest leaders on Wednesday. Commentators say it's a deliberate show of force that may jeopardise the talks. It was the violent police response to peaceful demonstrations on May 31st, which attracted many protesters to form a broader anti-government movement. Many have been calling for Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's resignation. They're also angry at what they see as the imposition of conservative Islamic values on a secular state under his leadership. The police had left the park on June 1st following violent clashes which drew criticism from the West. At least three people have died and more than 5,000 have been injured since the protests began.